Hi sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, so you've had kindly smite that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload and please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for the love, the support you are showing me here with. I am grateful and you all are super sweet. So there is a video circulating around and uh, it was um, a palm colored cup who admitted to i mean like peeping black people i mean he put someone over and the person is a palm colored person so he bought his body cam was not off it was on while he was talking to the person and guess what he said he admits that they people black people that when they put black people over they pupil them. So he was trying to calm the person down because probably the person was a little bit nervous and was like, you don't have to worry because we don't pupil people that look like them. I mean, people like that look like us. We only pupil people that look like me. And a lot of people are asking questions. I mean, it's not like black people do not know this. I mean, they've been screaming it. They've been talking about it. They've been saying it a lot for, for a longer time. But then him confirming it is also more like, I mean, everything uh, you all have said, there is nothing, there is no lies or something. And the fact that people like this are still serving, I mean, people that are supposed to protect people are not the one doing the other way around, going around between black people. And like I keep saying, no black person should ever be scared or being pulled over, I mean, or being stopped by cops. But then... Pop color people are going to come to if, 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 if there is anything that happens to a black person and what you're going to say in the comment section is them saying, why did they not come out? Why did they start arguing with the cops? Why did they not like they start asking so many irrelevant questions? I mean, I call them stupid and dumb questions because at this point in time, we need to find out from that same cop. Who are the people he has pupilled? Let them tell people the people that he has pupilled. They should not just dismiss him like that. This is, uh, I am going to roll this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you're all thinking in the comment section. So straight up, let's. A Georgia police department this morning is investigating an officer caught on video making a disturbing statement. We only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? All the video. The Cobb County police officer who made the controversial comments to a woman during a traffic stop says he will retire. But his police chief wants to start the process to fire him. And Marie Green is here with the video that could cost the veteran officer his career. And Marie, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. Well, the dash cam video that has just been released shows a traffic stop from July of last year. The woman in the video, who is white, told Lieutenant Greg Abbott that she was afraid to reach for her cell phone. And the officer's response is not reassuring. All the videos you've seen, have you seen any black people get killed? During a traffic stop, Lieutenant Greg Abbott can be heard telling a woman that she needs to call the person who was picking her up because she's being arrested and taken to jail. Use your phone. It's in your lap right there. I just don't want to put my hands down. I'm really sorry. I'm just... You're just really drunk. No, no, no. I've just seen way too many videos of problems. But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? Abbott's lawyer said in a statement that the 27-year police veteran was attempting to de-escalate the situation after the woman said she was afraid to retrieve her cell phone. He said Abbott's comments must be observed in their totality to understand their context. No matter what context you try to take those comments in, uh, the statements were inexcusable and inappropriate. Let's be clear. That's the rule of law, period. He is very calm. He's speaking to a white woman. He believed they're in cahoots, even though she's saying she's scared and she doesn't want to reach for her phone because she doesn't want to be killed. But he believes that he could say that to her because she's white and it will be safe with her. This is why he's able to say it with her to her calmly. They're saying he's trying to de-escalate the situation so those are the words coming out your mouth that you only kill black people did you ever see white people get killed no that's the rule of law and it's not just the rule of law where he's from it's the rule of law period you know they say things like we love when you n-word people run 
Because when you run, we have an excuse to kill you. I was once asked why Trayvon Martin um, run. Why did he run? If he did nothing, why did he run? Because, you know, we're supposed to stand up and knowing that our life's in danger, we're supposed to just stand there and get killed. We're not supposed to defend ourselves. We're just supposed to stand there and not get killed. When we, for all of our lives, have suffered from flight, fight or flight, it is ingrained in us. Fight or flight is ingrained in us because our ancestors ran whenever they could have. They ran. So fight or flight is ingrained in us. So this, what he's saying there, this is not him. De Could you imagine using this verbiage to de-escalate a situation where you're telling this person as a police officer, don't worry, you white, we don't kill white people, we only kill black people. And they're talking about firing him? No! No, no, I'm not saying not to fire him, but no, this is deeper than one person he didn't just say that to say it that's the rule of law that's the rule of law and he was saying it to a white person so he was very comfortable saying it because that's the rule of law and he just believed that they're in cahoots and she would hold on to that information why would she share that why would she do that i don't know who leaked it but you know We always knew, but thank you for confirming it. We appreciate your truth. Stay woke, keep your head on a swivel, and know that you are always in danger. People of color, my melanated people, my nine ether people, you're always in danger. He just confirmed it. We always knew it. But I just took his word for truth. Black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? All the, the Cobb County Police Office. Y'all know anything about Cobb County. Y'all know if you stay in that area, that those Tamahu, Amorites, so-called white people are uh, on that police force are literally some type of clan membership and they be on full-fledged harassment 24 to the 7 is a hey, it's rough them clans man ain't gone nowhere they just put on police outfits <laughs> for real and you gotta watch out for them because they got that five point star and that's also the star of baphomet i mean they working for the evil ones pay close attention the signs right in your face <laughs> a Georgia police department this morning is investigating an officer caught on video making a That is the first cop I ever seen be actually truthful about his job. And he's going to be the last because they like to keep this on the wraps. But we know. A Georgia police department this morning is investigating an officer caught on video making a Now I know that this is a statement that is very, very upsetting to a lot of people. But what has to be understood is that that police officer did not tell a lie. You understand? Now, the reason why I said that is not because, oh, they're all racist and rah, rah, rah. No, 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 no. You got to understand something. To claim to be black, to be a black person, means you're an open rebellion against the Constitution. You should look up the, uh, the case if Abraham Lincoln, that he looked over before he presided, he uh, litigated before he became president because he was a lawyer. And it's illegal to be black in the United States of America. It's illegal. It's actually illegal. So the reason why he's being punished is not because of what he said, but because of what he said. Because what he said was true, which is a very firmly kept secret in America because no one wants you to not be black. It's shocking. Uh, it's, it, it, it renders one speechless. Defense attorney Carmela Caramagno says she's shocked, saddened, and outraged at the text messages 
17 Antioch police officers exchanged with one another while investigating her client and three other defendants. We obtained 14 pages of the text in which officers expressed excitement about shooting rubber bullets in the days leading up to the takedown of four murder suspects. Bro, I can't wait to 40 all of them, says one, referring to firing less lethal ammunition. During the stakeout of the suspects, Officer Eric Rumbaugh texted, so many black people. Officer Jonathan Adams replied, bro, they all look the same. Rumbaugh responded, tell me about it. I feel like I'm at the zoo. In another exchange, as the officers observed the suspects eating, Rumbaugh texted, I bet it's chicken. Adams replied, could be ribs. Rumbaugh texted back, for sure, watermelon and Kool-Aid. After the arrest, officers shared photos of two of the suspects' injuries, photos taken of them in the hospital. I field goal kicked his head, texted Rumba. I tried to knock him unconscious, and he got muzzle thumped six times before he gave us his hands. An unnamed person texted back, glad you're having fun, babe. The behavior of the officers is indescribable. Um, laughing about injuring them, planning to injure them, uh, taking pictures of my client's naked body as he lay in a hospital bed after they did injure him. One of the officers even texted a photo of a football referee. Officer Rumba texted, bro, my foot hurts, LOL. Officer Adams responded, did you kick the guy? Rumba replied, yep, like a effing field goal. The aunt of one of the suspects targeted in the text says this kind of behavior has been swept under the rug for far too long. For the officers, you don't go around doing dirty and think that dirt can't come back your way. Very Clearly, funny. none of them belong in law enforcement. None of them should have that kind of power over another human being because they lack the basic humanity that one would expect of a stranger on the street, let alone, you know, a law enforcement officer. So to whom we may concern. Oh, by the way, hello, beautiful people. Now, to whom we may concern. For those who did not believe that we were getting picked on and knocked off purposely, you're about to hear from the horse's mouth. You about to hear from the horse's mouth. Mm-hmm. Check this out. I'll be right back. A Georgia police department this morning is investigating an officer caught on video making a disturbing statement. We only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? All the video. The Cobb County police officer who made the controversial comments to a woman during a traffic stop says he will retire, but his police chief wants to start the process to fire him. Anne Marie Green is here with the video that could cost the veteran officer his career. Anne Marie, good morning. Good morning, Vlad. Well, the dash cam video that has just been released shows a traffic stop from July of last year. The woman in the video, who is white, told Lieutenant Greg Abbott that she was afraid to reach for her cell phone, and the officer's response is not reassuring. All the videos you've seen, have you seen white people get killed? During a traffic stop, Lieutenant Greg Abbott can be heard telling a woman that she needs to call the person who was picking her up because she's being arrested and taken to jail. Use your phone. It's in your lap okay, right there. I just don't want to put my hands down. I'm really sorry. I'm just... You're just really wrong. No, no, no. I've just seen way too many videos of problems. But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? Abbott's lawyer said in a statement that the 27-year police veteran was attempting to de-escalate the situation after the woman said she was afraid to retrieve her cell phone. He said Abbott's comments must be observed in their totality to understand their context. No matter what context you try to take those comments in, uh, the statements were inexcusable and inappropriate. I want to hear what y'all got to say about that. Because it always matters. This is why we got to train our kids, our black boys and our black women, how to, <clears throat> how to, um, you know, properly act when you get put off by the police. Because I'm not saying all police officers, but a lot of them, enough of them, have this mentality. A lot of them do. So now you heard it from horse's mouth. Here's what they think about you. 
And to the white tea people, you heard it from the horse's mouth. So we don't pull race cards. No, this is an actual fact. This is a reality we go through every single time we drive and I can't think of a single black person with a vehicle who don't drive on a day-to-day -day basis. And this type of cop might be the one to pull you over. See, we are, we, we are at risk every single time we drive a vehicle. Every single time we get behind the wheel, we don't know who's thinking what. To all my people of color, black people, just comply, because you ain't gonna win it right there. You take it to court, you fight there. There's different ways to fight battles and to, to be confrontational. At that moment, could have you knocked off. You know, think about that. Even, even when you're right, there's a time and place to prove that you're right. And right there on the side of the road, it's not the place. You know what I'm saying? You can record it all day long, record it, comply, do whatever you gotta do to get past that moment. Because you can see the ones that do do it. They take paid leaves. So, protect yourself at all times. With that being said, I love each and every single one of you. Y'all stay beautiful, y'all stay blessed, y'all stay aware of yourself as well as your surroundings. I am no one, and I know this. Too many police officers got this mentality. There are some good ones out there. I've been across a couple of them, but I came across some bad ones myself. I just complied. I got past the situation. Peace to the chosen. We will talk soon. You heard it from the horse's mouth. Peace. Officer caught on video making a Y'all gonna hate me so hard for this one, right? So when I originally saw this video last year, I was not mad at this man. The reason I was not mad at this man is because it's a white woman talking about something. She's scared to put her hands on a wheel. Honestly, I, I probably would have said, I would have been like, no, don't worry, you're not black. Like, I, as a black woman, as a black woman, if I was a police officer pulling over a white woman and she pulled that shit on me, I would have definitely said, don't worry, you're not black. Because don't even try to be oppressed. Like, I guess because it came from a white man. And I guess, you know, it changes the meaning. But me personally, as a black woman, when I watched him say that, I was just like, mm, he's, he's got a point. <laughs> I want to put my hands down. I'm really sorry. I'm just... Maybe it's just too long. No, no, no. I'm just too many videos of problems. But you're not black. Remember? So this is all I got from the stitches and... Whew. Now... I mean, I hope this video goes viral because um, most of white people, uh, especially when there is any police brutality on black people, first thing they ask or I see in the comment section is, why did they not comply? When the cops, they are always like, when the cops ask you to uh, hands up, come out from the car, just come out, do not argue. That black people usually argue. And then the ends are up being pew pew and all that. But you all can see the reverse is the case because this has been confirmed by a cop that they don't kill from colored people. They only kill people that look like me. I mean, it's glaring. It's not like black people do not know this. They know this for a longer time. But uh. Hearing it from them also is a great confirmation that, I mean, their worries and uh, their concern and their fear are valid. And like I keep saying, no person, not even a single person should ever be scared of being pulled over by the cops just because of your skin color, just because of the way you look. Uh, but then... We wake up every day to police brutality. As I speak to you, there is one that also happened that a lot of people are also looking like recently. This happened like two days ago. Just that was how they pick you this person and police are trying to cover it up and all of that. But then for how long is this going to keep happening? Like black people are living in fear. They wake up. They don't know what it's going to happen. I mean, like, you know, just like you sleep and wake up and your life is like, you are like scared for your life. I mean, you don't know if you're gonna make it to the next day or if you're just gonna go to the store just to buy something or maybe at the gas station, you might be pew-pewed or not just being pew-pewed by people. You might also be pew-pewed by cops, people that are supposed to like, you know, even uh, also protect you. 
and i don't know why all these are still happening to this very moment and some people are going to say it's not all the cop i know it is not all but majority i mean the the ones that don't do it are very few i mean it's it's very rampant it's everywhere i mean it's just like very common so common i mean black people can just live in peace even when they are not bothering anybody just for driving also you get pulled over by the cops you are scared that you might not make it home i mean this is really very terrible and uh this are uh, I hope uh, they, 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 they investigate this because not just, they should not fire him. Let him talk about the people they have killed because for him to say that they don't uh, uh, people, uh, colored people, they only people, uh, black people. Let them tell us the ones that they have pew pew. Such a very sad story. This is where I am going to draw the curtain. Thank you so much for the support. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.